तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन स्वरों की करो विदाई Well, another video showing what a peaceful religion Hinduism is. Being sarcastic, obviously, I've proven uh, time and time again that Hinduism is every bit as bloodthirsty, violent, and terroristic as Islam, and also the Jesuit order, the Roman Catholic Church, which both Islam and Hinduism are daughters of that great harlot of Revelation 17 and 18. But here's just another example of showing that if your nation, if you're in, in Europe or here in North America, uh, if it became Hindu majority, it would be no different than if it became Muslim majority. Why? Well, because you basically would start seeing people being killed or prosecuted for insulting that religion, insulting Muhammad or insulting Hinduism if, if it's a Hindu majority. Okay, here's one example of this. I've done other videos showing people being uh, prosecuted and persecuted too for insulting Hindu deities. Because you see, uh, Hindus in the West are like Muslims in the West. They're peaceful. If you're in India, try insulting a Hindu deity and see how long you last. See how see see how long you last before you have to go into hiding. Uh, covered that in other videos, but here's another example of this. This is on Breitbart News. India member of Parliament criminally charged for saying Hindu goddess eats meat. This gets into another thing too, the whole cow protection thing, because uh, in India you could be killed for having a cheeseburger because the cow is a sacred animal over there. But continuing on in the article, it says, uh, I'm not good with these Indian names, sorry, just bear with me. Mahua Motra, a member of the Indian parliament from TMC, party of West Bengal, uh, was subject to two criminal complaints filed by the ruling BJP, BJP party on Wednesday because she made insulting and demeaning comments about the Hindu goddess Kali. Uh, India is still dealing with protests sparked by a BJP spokes. This is from last year, but it's still relevant today because it still goes on. Sparked by a BJP spokeswoman making comments that were deemed insulting to Islam's Muhammad. Now, I saw a lot of the counter jihadis jumping on her support, which is kind of funny because the same party she's part of wants to basically shut down those who insult Hindu Hindu deities. You know, I have no problem with, with insulting the, the blasphemous, idolatrous, false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. But you see, in Hindu India, it's no, it's no different. The only difference is insulting Hindu deities will get you the same kind of reaction, you know? See, if you insult Muhammad in Pakistan, you get the kind of reaction that you would from Hindus if you insult a Hindu deity. It's no different. So that's why this whole thing of allying with the, uh, the Hindus against Islam is rather absurd because they're every bit as, you know, terroristic. But continuing on, also to Hinduism is a false religion. Uh, it's just as hell damning as Islam, but side issue. The new, it says in the article, the new blasphemy crisis erupted when Motra, who describes herself as a practicing Hindu, was asked for her opinion of a deliberately provocative performance documentary film called Kali by Canada-based writer and director, uh, I'm not going to do these names. She apparently depicted a Hindu deity holding a homo a sodomite flag with a cigarette and that caused a uh, firestorm, which, you know, it is rather degenerate to say the least. Uh, Kali, also spelled Kali, uh, would be able to do all of these things at once since she has many arms, but angry Hindu said it was disrespectful for Ma whatever her name is, to show her doing any of them, busy eating meat. According to her, the norms of Sanatan Hindu Dharma, Goddess Kali is never worshipped as a goddess who consumes alcohol or meat. Uh, Hindus have been uh, revering Goddess Kali as ages as a symbol of power against evil. You know, there's some morality. See, that's another thing too, this whole thing of, oh, you know, Islam is bad because of uh, it's against modernity. You know, well, you'd have to say that Hinduism is also bad because it's against the 
you know, modernity, which is just basically decadent, degenerate Western liberalism, Western immorality, you know. A broken clock is right twice a day, and alcohol is, you know, very problematic. Uh, you know, so that they're all, all upset over her, uh, you know, making these comments. So the BJP spokeswoman makes comments about Muhammad's child bride, and, you know, that caused a firestorm. Which, you know, you can see why. But insulting Hinduism also causes a firestorm in India. In the article, oh, so it's acceptable to mock our religion, but not Islam. Uh, there was a tenor of response from many Hindus. On Wednesday, a senior Hindu cleric named Raju Das mused that if Hindus wanted the same respect as Muslims, they ought to start beheading people for blasphemy. Ooh, yeah. But I'm supposed to think that Hinduism is just, you know, it's, it's peaceful, it's respectable, no, not like the, the violent Muslims. No, they want to, they say we should start beheading people for blasphemy of Hinduism. Yeah. And by the way, too, I've talked to a Hindu on Gab, a Hindu nationalist on Gab.com. He openly said to me, I asked him, would you support, like, killing those who blaspheme Hindu gods? He said, yeah, I, I would be all for that. Why? Because it's every bit as terroristic as Islam, that's why. Uh, so, you know, but right there, you, you see that they would love to you know, kill those who insult Hinduism. Plain and simple. So, you know, just another great example proving that, you know, even from like a, like a kind of secularist type standpoint, uh, it's kind of absurd to ally with the Hindus against Islam because, I mean, right here, you're seeing that they're every bit as, you know, terroristic and authoritarian when it comes to their critics, dealing with their critics, you know. Not only do they want to shut you down, they would love to basically put your head on a pike for insulting their gods. If Canada became a Hindu majority nation, you can better bet you'll probably see my, my head on a pike for making these kinds of videos. So, I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, just like, you know, Islam and Roman Catholicism, Hinduism is death worship. Proverbs 8 verse 36 perfectly describes it. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.